Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel and this is episode 21 I think. So where I left you off the last time was the uh, putting the plate, getting the plate ready to hold the centre bearing. Uh, that's now a not welded yet, uh, though I've cleaned either side where it's going to be welded into the floor. Back to bare metal uh, was painted uh, so that we get the best weld we can get and then it'll all get painted up. But in the meantime I'm going to make some uh, corner brackets we'll call them to stiffen up that plate now the plate itself isn't going to go anywhere it's 12 millimeters thick but just to steady it in the boat that there can't be a vibration or something so I'll just pan the camera I need to turn the lens and get it so that I can see it so uh, I'm going to use these a lovely day here in Dungarvan I'd love to be painting but it's uh, intermittent showers uh, very windy so I, I can't because at, towards the end of the month I'm really going to have to get on with uh, painting the boat before the end of the summer on the outside so we're going to be coming back in from the uh, back outside not on the inside anymore and that can all be done for the, during the winter so out of that little bit of plywood there six mil ply I cut this shape this center hole here was the original pieces of the the this is just scrap steel they were off uh, TVs and that was the center the quadrants of the rounds on the bulkhead door so that'll just fit in there I'm actually going to plasma torch around that and I should be get the rest of them out of that sheet if not I have another sheet of it and I'm going to just plasma torch that and just go with the slightly bigger size and that'll be the size for all of them so we'll see how we get on So here's the 12 mil steel plate now in situ and I've the paint wound uh, ground away wound do you hear me and uh, a little bit of tricking around there to do with that but that's just temporarily held there so what I've made and you probably saw in the video earlier is I made four of these I plasma cut a little stencil and timber and the marks on that side uh, where I'm going to remove just little strips of paint to allow for the welding but I'll show you on this side if I move in here not the same where am I going there we are not the same marks here that's going to sit in there try and get back I'm filming inside out so that's going to be there another one there down lower and the same on the other side get the welder back into up into the boat uh, and put it in on top of me so the lads are going to do that shortly and uh, hopefully I'll be welding well this evening so before I weld in the plate and the ribs into the back of it I'm actually going to put in this floor which had been removed now it was only ever temporarily fitted it was never fully welded up it was purely just a couple of tack welds and it lasted all those years so the welders back in with our little crane and it made life so much easier than hawking that up the scaffold at the back it literally was put a sling around it and hit the button and up it came and the gas followed it i've put some uh, tarp over the engine to stop any sparks because there's a blanket underneath it and i'm about to remove this floor so i'll put the camera on a stand above and uh, i'll get on with welding in the floor for the first time in months
So if it's the uh, last uh, nearly took three quarters of an hour and very slowly, don't worry all that will be tidied up. I had some major filling to do there to fill over five millimeters in between the two. It's just the way the template came out. So uh, some heavy welds on the floor, not completely welded up. I don't want a big line on the bottom of the hull outside, but enough there to keep it there on the floor and the sides. And I'm going to be putting in these, uh, I think I call them boomerangs. They're going to be going in there, a pair of each of those. But I just, this is uh, all quite hot now, so I just want to leave it all cool down. Everything go back to where it needs to be. And then we'll go again. I put some cardboard over the end of the shaft and anything that could be exposed covered in tape just to stop spatter landing on because it would stick directly to them so uh, just to protect him a little bit so uh, I'll do the next bits now I'll leave it for an hour and leave it all cool down
this is uh, tank one, starboard side. Fully made, or at least fully assembled. So all corner to corner welding on all the seams all around. And the baffles are in and welded in. And there's a little piece of angle iron to go sit on top of this here and they'll meet the slots in the top of the corner so there's enough space for those to go in so these were previously ground out of the old tanks whereas all this other steel is new and the uh, old manhole covers are uh, the old ones as well we didn't need to replace those they'll have rubber seals behind them so they're all welded in and the studs are all backed on the inside and they're all stainless and they're all uh, numbered as well with a dot punch which tank and which hole uh, so there's a little marking on each of them so we can tell three dots here there that's, so that's three on tank one at the bottom so that's the system we used and there's number four so they've all come up fine the cutting was perfect that we did in Bearsford so we knew we had that right and literally it was just a case of sitting it up on a piece of four mil to get the edge of the sheet to sit up and we have edge to edge connection the whole way around so by the time they're welded will be absolutely perfect so uh, that's it for for now and finish the rest of that tomorrow so the other thing that I did this morning and I'm just going to move into the half cabin to look at it from the in over to the floor so just give me a sec so I now have the, the center bearing it's fully welded in it's welded down both sides and those little boomerang brackets I made uh, are now fitted and welded. They're only welded on the tops, but that's all they really need to be. So that piece of steel there, 12 millimeters thick, will never ever flex or move or budge, and it'll keep us lined up permanently to the shaft. So as you can see there, I just protected it with a bit of cardboard, uh, just to stop any spatter landing on the stainless shaft and the bronze uh, coupling or the, the bushing at the back. Uh, so it all remained pretty unscathed from the welding but it's all done and just to sand it out now and then repaint it but the next job we'll be doing now technically is shortening the shaft is for its new length which is basically the end of the forward side of the CV joint just meets there within a millimeter of it we draw the shaft do the measurements and then send it back in and then we will we'll rip out all the center bearing gear, CV joint, all of that, so this whole bay then can be repainted. And uh, I'm sure there's other bits of welding I'll have to do in there for bracketry. I have to mount the exhaust jet, which is uh, over, just over there, on the other side of that, there it is there. And uh, down in this side here, uh, there's a hydraulic uh, tank with all the servos on it that's going to go back in on this corner. I think the generator is going in there at the front because we're going to keep the fuel tanks to the back and uh, I have to make a, keep a path there clear on this side over here for that exhaust to actually turn through that bulkhead and then back out under the bulkhead here and along and out the transom. So that's uh, all we have to do for now and we'll just keep at it. Thank you. So partially the back transom or the lower transom we call it this kind of two is half back to metal and uh, in about three hours today the lads managed to get the whole side up as far as there it goes on further on the top layer the bottom layer it's another half a day we'll see this complete side done which means it can be painted immediately afterwards uh, the rest of it that has been done up there We'll need just a very fast rub there's very little like it's clean but it's rusted in a few different places but nothing major and uh, it's back to smooth metal back in under the primer so it's a good enough finish to, to work with and uh, hopefully in the next week or two we'll have the whole outside of it covered in primer including the underneath but i'm going to literally just go as far as the the floor line on one section and then match it back from the other side rather than try and do it all in one go so we deal with all that in due course so we're back inside the uh, main cabin area and this is the first of the two fuel tanks i tacked together yesterday so 
as the tops are going to land on there's little slots you've seen them back in a few episodes a little three or four little slots I think it's three I put in each of them to weld to the tops of the battles so in order to do that I'm using a small piece of angle iron that will sit now this is where the old pieces were cut off on the original baffles because these are the set ones from the old tanks they're now fully welded back in tacked all around and the little corners are notched out to let the fuel flow but it does stop all the sloshing and we call it sloshing so basically I'm just going to sit the top of that in through that so we're getting closer to getting uh, painting soon so the transom as you can see is done uh, we still have a lot of work to do in there and there's a piece to go in there but it doesn't stop me from putting at least a primer on this so the lads have been working I haven't done one single square inch of all what they've done here we're back to bare metal practically the whole side of the boat is done so this is the road side it'll be the first to be done I'm trying to see it now with the glare of the screen so you can see now that we've actually got a little bit left to do and we've put back in and the lower bit there up to as far as the bow thruster and that'll work back and then we go in underneath it's going to take time but at least the lads have it all cleared out so uh, we have this uh, scaffold arrangement with a bar that we can put planks across we had the exact same system 10 years ago so I'm going to go welding the uh, first of the tanks the top of it is literally just landed over as we can see this is purely accidental and not a staged version of it but uh, that sheet's going up and it's the top of the tank. I'm going to tack it on, then flip the tank over and solidly weld it up. It's going to take a couple of hours. tank one now finished 
it's going to be lowered in in the next few minutes into its uh, temporary living in there but it's going to be in there permanently when the bracketry is made for it. I've welded on two tabs, I've taken a guess using calculations on the which side of uh, centre the actual amount of circumference of steel and they're within a couple of millimetres so I'm hoping they'll be at least level. The last tanks uh, when you lifted them from the centre they weren't up as level because there's way more material here than there is in the back because it's smaller so we've offset the centres. So all the edges are all corner to corner, all fully ground in. Uh, didn't have too much dentistry to do to touch them up and you know for any low bits. But they're all polished, all ready to go and be painted once the second tank is made. So I'm hoping to get this in on the end of this episode and then go for the build of the second tank uh, afterwards. It actually takes about two days work between welding and grinding to do them. But I'm very happy, they're slightly smaller than the old ones. They're a direct replacement in the size of the actual shape of them, but they're just uh, 300 odd mil shorter. So we just space these manhole covers at a different spacing. And all the baffles are inside, they're all closed up. So totally happy with them. So the next thing you'll see is us uh, lowering this in, and then that'll be the end of this episode. And thank you so much for everyone watching. We're loving the progress that we're getting through and the fact that we're able to make these little videos and show you. So stay tuned. Thank you very much.